Yo, so I just tried it on and sip. Ew, see, I ain't finna hop in front of the camera just yet. Cause my friend said, let's go to brunch. So I'm wearing this to brunch today. We pop the. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm excited, didn't I? For this week's thrift flip, I kind of wanted to redo a like plain button down white tee and just, you know, spice it up a little bit cinch it in, in the waist and make it a little bit different so you can thrift this item i actually went to my dad's closet and i got it for the free you shouldn't have a hard time finding this you can do any color you want as well i decided to go with white because white is super classic as always and i realized i wanted to cinch in the waist some i felt like the waist needed some more um figure flattering type of essence going on that's my smallest area so i like to make sure that my waist is visible and you know snatched as well so i'm just gonna cut that out so yeah this will require me taking off a lot of the extra excess bodies that we don't need and we just want to make sure we take in that waist Also, I am not the best with Photoshop. I'm just now getting used to it. So if y'all see anything that I can do, like shortcuts, anything, please leave them in the comments below. I would appreciate it. I kind of decreased the opacity a little bit so that way you can see how it would blend a little bit better. And so then we're gonna also shorten it a bit too. And we're gonna add in the sleeves. I wanna change the sleeves from this little basic cuffed sleeve to a more to a more flare flareful <laughs> flareful sleeve i just want to add like some um to more i want to make the sleeves more feminine basically and take away the cuffs i didn't really want the cuffs so i went on pinterest because i was really thinking about doing this as a one shoulder dress but i'm like how could i get a button down to be a one shoulder shirt with it still being able to lay so i just kind of sketched it out and took it in to see how the fabric would like in my head how the fabric would actually work like that and I didn't like it. I just went on ahead and added the other sleeve to the other side. I ended up having to flip it like this. So I just pretended like, you know, the arm was in the air, you know, waving or something like that. So um, this was the final look. I am pretty satisfied with it and I'm ready to go to the drawing board. Well, actually the cutting board and start cutting and sewing and making this look the best way that I can make it look, hopefully. You can also follow me on Instagram if you want to keep up with all my projects. I love the authenticity of a good tea making process and for y'all to see how I'm looking <laughs> while I'm doing this project. So let's continue to get into it. So let's get into this bag, babe. This project actually does take a lot of measuring. You need your calculator, you need your measuring tape. I'm gonna list all of the details down below. I actually got it from Fashion Wizardry because you need this to fit your waist good. So once you have your measurement, that was the first thing I did. Once I got it, I wanted to make sure that it fit good on like the lay of it, that it was good on my body. So I went and I got a pen and I just kind of, was seeing where I wanted it to lay like that I want it high I decided I wanted it like right under the little tits but low enough to where it wasn't too too low um you kind of want to play with it on your body this is where like custom things you know come into play and people be like oh it fits you so good yes it's because I made it okay I made it so then I flipped the shirt inside out it's so much easier to work inside out than it is to work outside in okay i guess that's how you say it but you want to take your measurements you want to take the measurement that you divided by three and you want to mark it in the location of where you want your waist area to be and you also want to mark the length of it how long you want it to be you need to mark everything for this like when i tell you get you a little piece of chalk if you don't have chalk get you some pens and just mark 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 so i tried to zoom in so y'all can see it a little bit better but once you have your measurement you want to divide that in half and you want to mark that area so you end up you want this area to be mine was seven inches long 
um, and I want to say five inches wide. I'm going to have it all in the description box. But you really want to make sure everything is even, everything is lined up. The goal for me for this was for it to be clean. Like I just wanted it to look pretty well done because I know you can find this at um, like Zara right now. They have a huge collection when it comes to oversized tees. Go check it out. It's nice. Too expensive for my taste, but it's nice. Anyway, mark yourself up, girl. I went halfway in the middle of each half marked line and I made sure I used the ruler because I wanted my seams to be super, super straight and I wanted to have a good reference point. Um, how straight your seams are and that would really like define on how professional it's gonna look and i repeated the same step on the other side literally the exact same thing please check the description box if you have questions leave comments because like i'm here babe like that's that's what i'm doing it's just really hard to say on a voiceover so then you also want to do your back. The back is a little different. You still want it to be the same length and the same width. So what I did was I found my middle point, then I folded over my shirt and I make sure it was flat and like smooth, like smooth, smooth, smooth. And I made sure everything was exactly the same because I didn't want it to be, I wanted everything to lay on the same part of my body. You don't want your front to be high and your back to be low. Like you need to make sure just get you a ruler and take your time and do your measurements and i promise you it's gonna come out great if you just do your measurements and take your time And this is when you want to start actually pulling out your pins and you want to pinch your fabric. Make sure that you have the bottom part of the fabric separated and you're sewing only through one layer. And I looked to make sure my lines were straight and I was pinning evenly because your pins is really what you're going to use when you go to your sewing machine. Whereas like the lines, the lines help guide you but the pins really do work. So I did the same thing. I pinched it up and I brought all my lines together and I matched them and I pinned and I pinned and I pinned. I did this for the back. I did this for the front right side and the front left side. You wanna do it for all of your areas. You wanna pin and make sure it's straight. Then you're ready to go to the sewing machine, mommy. So my sewing machine, um, I just used a regular basic straight stitch. You don't need anything else. And then you can also use fabric, I mean thread. I use yellow thread because that's what I had already. This isn't gonna be seen because you're sewing on the inside of your garment. But if you really want it to look even better, make sure you get thread that matches your fabric. So in this case, I should have used a white thread, but I was too lazy to change it. Because I had got a call that, you know, we was going to brunch this Sunday. So Yo, so I just tried it on and sip. Ew, see, I ain't finna hop in front of the camera just yet. Because my friend said, let's go to brunch. So I'm wearing this to brunch today. I actually, y'all gonna see, I'm gonna talk and show y'all. But I'm finna get myself together. We're going to brunch. And I'm gonna wear this because it popping, it popping. Wait, let me see my hair. It popping, it popping, it popping, it popping, it popping, it popping. So I'm excited if you can't tell. E okay. So, babe, I busted out the ironing board. The ironing board. We about to. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm excited. Then, but I'm debating if I just really want to wear it because I just did it. Or if like this is my vibe for the day. Cause I when I get dressed, I get dressed based off of my vibe for the day. <laughs> so um, but I'ma go ahead and like I haven't been wearing much makeup. Like I'ma do my little thizzle when it comes to my face. My hair ain't finna change, like talking about. And if I do, I want it to be nice and clean and crisp, like a men's shirt for real. Like I want creases in this thing, like I want it to look clean. So that's why I was like, mind you, I don't really iron stuff except if I need to. But what I am gonna do is, which I forgot about, you wanna iron your pleats on the inside, you wanna iron them flat. 
so and it's kind of flattening in that part so same here just flattening in there If you are going out like me um and you are going to brunch i haven't been anywhere besides a restaurant so this is only my second time second or third time going out to eat so but just make sure that you are careful make sure that you are wearing your mask i do have mine it's actually black and white so it's gonna go perfect with my fit um make sure that you are being super cautious you keep your hand sanitizer in your bag like please be cautious you guys please be safe i know we probably shouldn't be going out anyway but honestly at this point it's kind of inhumane in my opinion it's becoming very very difficult and I'm just really excited to I don't have any lip gloss on by the way because I know my mask is gonna be on <laughs> okay <laughs> I might do that later on but um just please stay safe you guys Sending all types of like prayer and wonderful great energy to you guys please send it back my way as well throughout these difficult times um I'm gonna enter some pictures now. Y'all have a great day. Have a great Sunday. I will see you next Sunday. Whatever you do, make today a great day. Responsible, you, you, you are responsible for your Sunday. Take control of it. Start your week off great, and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs>